Hey guys, this is Professor Cesar. Today I'm going to make you a demonstration of a FDT DTM2. And to perform this demonstration, I'm going to use this pressure transmitter, a uh, 2051 um, uh, Rosamund from Emerson, and this heart interface from Vivace. Uh, Vivace is a Brazilian manufacturer. Let's take a look. Before we start our demonstration, I want to show you uh, what we have here. Here, we have a pressure transmitter. Uh, this is a 2051 Rosamund from Emerson. Here we have a pet bottle just to pressurize inside, then we can measure in the transmitter. Uh, we have here a manometer. This manometer is going to show us the the pressure increasing or decreasing inside. We have a pure sigma manometer here. Look, the pressure is increasing. Pressure is increasing. Now you can, the pressure is decreasing. Uh, and here we have our beautiful device, the, our uh, heart interface, VCI TAM from Vivace, a Brazilian manufacturer. Uh, what do we have here? So, I have in uh, the transmitting my test bench. So, I do not need uh, an external power supply. This device is supplying uh, the transmitter here. So, what did I have to do? Switch the power to on and the out to V volts. Okay, so I'm supplying the transmitter here. And if you use these uh, settings, you have uh, the 250 Hz uh, integrated to the device. And you can communicate via heart uh, with a software like Pacture. I'm going to show you the Pacture. So, and uh, uh, if you have it, this, this setting is very good for transmitters. If you have, uh, for example, an actuator like a positioner, you should put the out in milliamps. Then it's going to supply with a minimal uh, current in milliamps. And you can uh, test the positioner. Uh, via heart, you can open or close the valve. Okay, let's see how does it work. Before we start, let's know a bit about uh, FDT and uh, DTM2. Uh, the FDT is a field device tool uh, that's the software. The, the interface uh, of the, uh, the configuration. This is an open source architecture. It's very interesting because you can configure, uh, make maintenance, diagnose, cooperating devices. Uh, for example, we have here the picture that we're going to use today. Here we have the DTM device type manager. DTM and FDT uh, works together. They work together. Uh, so if you want to configure and parameterize a device like this, you must uh, go to manufacturer website and download the DTM2 from this device. Uh, what the DTM contains? The instruments that data, uh, like uh, parameters, functions, user interface, and the graphic interface provided by, is provided by the manufacturer. So it's that very, very interesting tool here. Let's see how does it work. So here we are in Vivas website. Here we can download the heart library from VCI TM U8. Uh, when you download this, uh, the file you you have the the DTM from the whole their whole device. 
uh, here we must download the DTN from Emerson, uh, Rosum 2051. Here's the DTM from the, from the transmitter here. And we can now, when we, you download these files, you can install in the machine that where the FDP DTM software is installed. So what do we have here? We have the DTM files from Vivace and from Ems. We can install them. After you install, I'm, I'm not going to install because I did have installed the, the DTMs. I'm going to open Pacture. Once you, you install the DTM, you must actualize the catalog, instruments catalog. You can see it here or you can in here and the catalog instruments here. All right now we can we can we must update the uh, instruments to update. Yes, I want to update and create a new catalog. It's updating now. Now that you have the your catalog uh, updated, you must add the hard communication. This this one I'm going to use now. Uh, okay, we have the uh, port com one. I must change it to the correct com. I'm going. I'm using the com five. Okay. Then we can add the instruments. Look, my catalog of instruments. I have the from Vivas instruments and from Rosemont. Emerson instruments. I'm going to, I'm using this one, 2021. Okay. When I, I'm going to connect now, I'm going to show the parameterization, online parameterization, okay. Now I'm going to open the application. It's opening, look. I have this range value uh, zero from zero to 450 millibar. Uh, I'm going to show now, I'm going to show the, it's changing. Look, look at the manometer. Okay. Look, the pressure is increasing. You can see now in the picture it's showing us 176, uh, look, it's a, it's a bit, a uh, little delay here. Okay. Uh, I'm going, to, we can now change some parameters. Uh, look, why the manometer is different from transmitter? Because manometers, the scale is in uh, millimeter mercury and in transmitters, millibar. I'm going to, to put the same uh, scale in transmitter. I can come here, device setup, break set, setup. I'm going to change now to millimeters of mercury. Okay. Look, millimeters of mercury, 60, uh, 80, okay, 80, look. Have checked it. Decreasing now, it's increasing. 160. Look, I'm going to get to 300 millimeters of mercury. Look, now it's decreasing. I'm going to decrease a bit. The pressure, uh, you can see here in the device, uh, process variable, 57%. I'm going to, to back to midbar because I'm using this device in my classes. Midbar, okay. 
Now it's back to mini bar, mini bar. Now mini bar again. Okay. This is the dumping. Uh, the responses to changes of variable. Okay. I'm going to maintain in 400 uh, milliseconds. And you can see here the process variable, diagnostic, uh, make the, uh, basic devices. Uh, you can review the parameters here. Very, very, very many nice application with this uh, hard communication. Well, I want to say thanks to, to Vivasi, special to, to Cesar that helped me with this video. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed that. And see you on the next video.